BD5 pilot with you back at the uh, Hillsboro hangar on a Sunday morning and I'm out here uh, moving some stuff around with the lights because of what I discovered with that beacon. You'll recall I had the, uh, the glare problem in this canopy with the uh, light mounted up here so I've uh, decided to move the upper beacon to the lower belly. I've ordered a new uh, fairing, root fairing for the vertical stabilizer from uh, BD Micro so they're sending that out to me. And uh, so now the new location is down underneath. And, uh, and that should work out just fine. Also done a little work. Uh, these wingtip lights, the wigwag function wasn't wanting to work. Say hi, Nico. And uh, so now when I switch lights on, I should be able to get a whole bunch of things functioning. So there's the underneath beacon. And yeah, the aircraft's jacked up right now, but... Uh, that should provide enough light to warn people that the uh, engine's about to start. And then, of course, when I bring the other lights into play, it'll synchronize. Those strobes will change. And then we're going to take and switch the landing and the wigwags on so I can get an idea of how and, of course, you can't see the wigwags working, but uh, you can see this side blinking underneath the belly blinking. The other side and uh and yeah guess what if i turn the lights off and it'll be 15 minutes before i can turn them back on so nico's going to end up getting a walk so we're going to turn on off the uh, lights in the hangar and then now we see the wigwags hard at work giving the side to side and this should be a workable solution for the aircraft so uh, that finishes my testing of these lighting situation. And uh, so I'll be moving on with some other uh, work on the aircraft in the very near future. And so now the final touch is trimming the little plastic cover to uh, fit over the wing tip and, uh, and then drilling the holes out. I gotta drill them a little bit larger and uh, mount the screws and uh, this wing tip will be done. And now I've got the other side done. So both sides now have the uh, little plastic covers for the uh, wing tips. So that works basically done. Uh, when I pull those wing tips back off, I can continue the construction and, and putting the uh, screws in that uh, hold that in place permanently. And of course, I figured you gotta be asking, what does that look like? What difference does that make with those uh, covers on? You might get a little different dispersal. We've got it set on the wigwag right now, but uh, here we're going to go ahead and turn the hanger lights off inside. And then I'm going to take and reset it just to a landing light type position. So uh, we'll turn off the wigwags and leave it just with full landing lights on. That's landing in Texas with the uh, strobes working. Got a nice dispersal pattern out the front of the plane. And uh, I think that cover actually adds a little bit more dispersal to the light that comes out. But uh, we can see we're getting more of a forward facing light. And in fact, you can see the difference. I'll shut some of the other, other lights off and leave it to where we're just looking at what the uh, so there's just the uh, nav lights on. And when I go to taxi light, you can see that wide dispersal pattern that comes on. And then if I go to the landing, you see how we get a, a spot facing forward? Even turning off the uh, landing. So the dispersal pattern's enough different and we get a forward facing beam. That should give us a pretty good uh, Pretty good lighting. And so that's uh, everything back on. Let's set it to uh, that fantastic forward recognition pattern that uh, leaves such a nice big flash in the front of the plane. So 
That's pretty good. Nico doesn't know what to think of it, though. and just pure nav lights. And those are actually quite bright themselves. So that's gonna end the work I do today. So pretty happy with the uh, lighting and those covers and uh, those BD micro fiberglass uh, wing tips working out really good. So uh, thanks Skeeter and Rich for all your help and uh, BD5 Pilot will be back with you next weekend, I hope.